Hello and welcome to this second video about uh, chapter number five, network design in the supply chain. In the first video, the introductory video, we crossed just the uh, uh, the beginning of the uh, of the chapter. Uh, now we'll go more in depth into all the learning objectives there are. So what uh, do we want to learn in this fifth chapter? The first one is understand the role of network design in a supply chain. The second learning objective is identify factors influencing supply chain network design decisions. The third one, develop a framework for making uh, network design decisions. And the last one is use optimization for facility location and capacity allocation decisions. Uh, the first learning objective is a quite straightforward learning objective. Um, it's a thing which you could also relate to earlier chapters as um, the role of design, in other words, the role of um, a strategic um, supply chain. Uh, so the, 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 the upper uh, level of supply chain design was mentioned earlier in chapter 1 and chapter 2. Um, the second one, identify factors influencing supply chain network design decisions, is a more in-depth um, uh, learning objective. It is about uh, factors in the environment and factors within uh, the supply chain itself. Um, so within your supplier, uh, distributor, manufacturer, retailer and consumer at the end. The third one is a quite important one. It's develop a framework for making network design decisions. Um, uh, we, uh, I will introduce to you a framework and with the framework in the back of your head it is uh, better to relate all the different topics within uh, this book to each other. So the, the framework gives you uh, more or less kind of a, a roadmap for the coming, uh, for the coming chapters. And the last one, use optimization for facility location and capacity allocation decisions is uh, quite quantitative. As I told earlier, chapter five is here with students in the Netherlands and was last year's with students in South Africa, quite a hard, um, uh, quite a hard chapter. And uh, the hardest parts are in learning objective number five, the use of optimization uh, for allocation decisions. But let's start, uh, uh, let's start easy. Let's start with uh, the first one. Understand the role of supply, sorry. Understand the role of network design in the supply chain. Um, when you look at, um, uh, when you look at uh, the supply chain and you look at it from a broad perspective, there are some, um, uh, no, there are four things that are of major importance. The first one is uh, the facility role. In, uh, in other words, what uh, role should the facility play? What promises, no, what uh, uh, processes are performed at each um, uh, facility? Those um, uh, um, those roles can be, for example, uh, manufacturing, it can be uh, distribution, it can be storage, it can be um, uh, uh, retail. Uh, the second one, facility location, where should facilities be located, is uh, the more broad uh, uh, perspective, where do you want your facilities to be? 
uh, facility location decisions have a long-term impact on a supply chain performance because it is expensive to shut down a facility or to move it into a different location. A good location decision can help a supply chain be responsive while keeping the cost low. Um, the third one is capacity location. Um, capacity location, um, you can for example create uh, one big facility uh, with creating one big manufacturing facility you, uh, you have a high probability of keeping your cost per uh, unit low but the transportation cost will be higher as also will the responsiveness of your um, of your supply chain will also be lower. Remember from uh, earlier chapters there is a continuum. The continuum starts with responsiveness and ends with uh, cost effectiveness, efficiency. Um, uh, and when you allocate all your uh, capacity into one uh, location, the probability is high that your costs are relatively low per stock keeping unit, uh, but the responsiveness is quite high because you have to ship all the, the goods worldwide if you're a worldwide corporation. Uh, the last one is the market and supply allocation. In other words, um, what um, facilities does what uh, um, uh, market serve? What kind of markets do you want to uh, serve? Do you want to serve a niche market or do you want to serve a more broader market? Do you want to uh, be, for example, in a supermarket? like ShopRite. If you want to be like ShopRite, you have to have a very broad supply chain. If you uh, want to have a very narrow supply chain, the costs are also lower, but also the responsiveness could be lower, but that doesn't need to be. Um, that were uh, uh, that was the first learning objective understand the role of supply chain design in a supply su i'm sorry understand the role of, of network design in a supply chain